Are retailers spamming you? We think that they might be. We think you know they are. <laughs> anyway, Dana Mattioli joins us on set now to explain what's going here. Um, are, they sp are they spamming me? Yes, they're spamming me right now. Um, why are they doing this? Uh, it's cheap. It's effective, and if you think about the last few years, all the new retailers that have come on the scene, there's just so much more mail going out. There's the daily deal sites, Groupons of the world, Guilt Group, and then the actual brick and mortar retailers have just stepped up their game. That Neiman Marcus is sending over 500 emails a year wow. to their consumer base. And you say it's effective. Um, how effective? Like for every so many emails, how, what's their return? Um, it depends. It varies yeah. from company to company. But for a lot of these companies, it's the biggest driver of online sales. No. And that's the one part of retail that's growing is online. So they can't afford not to be in the game, but at the same time, if you send too much, you're getting unsubscribe rates, people are deleting you, putting you in spam, so you have to like, find the right balance. So finding the right balance. So it's 500, um, let me do my mathematics, <laughs> so there are 365 days in a year. 500 and 34, emails, yeah. 534, that's more than one a day. Now, right. I, I, I get a daily um, email from Jay Peterman, um, which is always fun to look at, um, <laughs> always unaffordable, but, you know, that's one a day. I can so, deal with it. So right? what they're finding is, when they have these big sales, uh, they think that their consumer likes to know two hours before it ends, hey, our sale's ending. So in addition to getting that daily email at the beginning of the day, you'll get it at the end. Or when they have other promotions going on, they'll send it to you. Okay, that's it. And it's all through email, or is it social media as well? Are they going they to do Facebook that as well, but and, yeah. it's, it's mostly email. Um, but then we're seeing some retailers saying, you know what, we're harassing our customers. Okay. We have to scale it back. Let's stop it. Are they pulling it. back in their yeah. own? Yeah, so Nicole there... Miller's in, in the story, and uh -huh. they were sending three a week. They made it one a week, uh, so, and their, their sales have gone up. Uh -huh. So how, how, many, how many spams do you get? Zero. And, and when you I'm you at, get and, zero spams. And when I'm at the register and, they, and I'm signing out or paying my bill, they say, would you like to give Don't us our email? Don't give it to them. I say no. <laughs> so yeah, you got a no. spam-free email? It's definitely, no spam. Well, how, many, how many did you get? A ton of them a day. So we'd like, like, how many, so you like give your email to them at the cash register, you give them your email? Well, it's research for my job. Okay, fine. But I mean, presumably when you order something online, they need your email address, don't they? Right, and they're collecting in other like devious ways, too. So they're paying for this type of research. They're asking you at the register. Um, they're making you enter sweepstakes online. And then sweepstakes are good though, aren't they? They're making well, you enter sweepstakes. Well, they're, 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 they're luring you with this, you. and then you do that, and they have all your info. So, yeah. and, and then they're they're following you online with cookies. If you to see if how you, you shop. like to shop and you're looking for deals, this can be a good thing for it you. It could be, right? So do you not like to shop? I do not like to shop. But <laughs> she doesn't like to. Well, that's but you don't need to give them you get no spam. But it's useful for you. That's it's fine. It's useful for some people, but then you get the deluge. You have to really figure out how to manage your inbox. But based on people you talk to. Do people in general feel deluged, or they feel it's about the right amount? It depends on who it's from. So there's so your your department, you, you sit the yeah. wide variety of people in that department. What do they say? They feel deluged. They feel deluged. I don't know if they're big shoppers. Well, exactly. you know what you should do is just set up a Gmail account. This is Dana Shopping. And well, some use people, that all in the time. All the spam and will all go goes to there. That and when address. you need it, you need it for a coupon code, and otherwise you don't look at it. Right. How easy is it to unsubscribe to? Not that I want to unsubscribe the JP. It's actually it. very easy. You just oh, so you open just the email, go to the bottom, press so unsubscribe. So there's really no victims That's here. It's it. It. You can just manage your life the way you want to. Use right. the deals if that you want to use the compared coupons. Compared to 2007, oh. the average retailer is sending 107, no, 87 percent more emails. 87 percent so, more. So it's working. And then there's more people coming on. And are they are they using this as an excuse? to not do more billboard or display ads in newspapers well, or online. Well, it's very cost-effective. Uh, think so about this, this is happened during the recession. They started amping this up when people didn't want to shell out yeah. money for big ad buys. So it's really cheap. It costs nothing, essentially. And this goes Except directly from, from the retailers, but also do the retailers pay the coupon sites to do it? Or? Yeah, they pay third-party yeah. people as well. Um, so, yeah. so all of that, you know, you can turn it off. P people, some people feel deluged, some people don't. Depends on the person. On mass, mm -hmm. overall, is it turning off the customers? Yeah. Well, we have a study in the story where um, the click-through rates, which is really important for retailers, is how many times someone click through. Clicks, that's how many. Yeah. Clicks the link to go to their actual website have deteriorated over the last few years as the number have gone up, and also the open rates. So people deleting them right away instead of reading them. So that's oh, detrimental. Del deleting before you even. You open just see it. that it's you from. See it. that I know. Retailer. I know people I get emails like that from. But it's not normally it's shops. Not Peterman. No, no. No, it's not normally. Individuals. It's yeah, it's it's individuals. I wow, that's a fascinating story. Extreme, I think your 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 way of doing it, but it works for you. It it does. It really works for you. Thank you very Thank you. much, Dana Mattioli.